Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Callie Bransfort and in today's video, I wanna share with you 15 things that can make you feel more rich. And when I say the word rich, I really mean it as like a relative term because I don't look at the word rich as some sort of end goal because I feel like no matter what income bracket you're in, there's always richer than that. And this is due to lifestyle inflation. As our income increases, we tend to inflate our lifestyle to meet that income. And while some of this makes sense, it also can put us on this hamster wheel of constantly feeling like we don't have enough. It's why there's people who can make $500,000 a year and they still feel like there's not enough money because they're comparing themselves to even higher earners than that. Long story short of what I'm saying is that even if you're considered rich on paper, it doesn't necessarily mean that you feel rich, which is good for most of us because even if we aren't considered rich on paper, there are things that we can do in our everyday life to make us feel a little bit more rich. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. Number one thing to make you feel more rich is to live without debt because when you are living with debt, your money is not really your money and nothing can make you feel less rich than that. There's nothing more of a buzzkill than working all week just to use that money to spend on like loans and interest. And not to mention, it's just going to make you feel insecure in your finances, which is also going to make you feel less rich. But if you have debt right now, girl, you are not alone. Listen, I have been there. It was only about four years ago that my husband and I had over $70,000 in cumulative debt between student loans and car payments and credit card bills. And we were able to to really buckle down, create a budget, make some lifestyle changes to pay off all of that debt. And I cannot tell you how freeing living debt free makes you feel. It's honestly been a complete shift change in how I look at my money because finally my money is my own money and I no longer feel imprisoned by my debt. And if you want some resources about getting out of debt, I will link some blog posts down below. I have a blog post all about how we got out of debt, how we set a budget that really works for us, how we stopped overspending to prevent going into debt again, and the things that we do now to continue to live debt free. So I will link all of those resources down below. Item number two is to keep your home clean and organized. It has been proven that living in a cluttered space can actually impact your mental health. And by having a space that's clean and organized, it's not only going to reduce your stress, but it also gives the feeling of abundance. There's something about having an organized space that just feels rich, whether it's a mansion or a studio apartment. I mean, just visually imagine walking into the same house and one is cleaned up and it's tidy and the other one, same exact house, but there's like mess out on the table. There's dirty dishes in the sink. The place is cluttered. The first one is just going to feel more expensive, even if it is the same exact house furnished exactly the same way. And if you need some help in the decluttering department, I will link a couple videos down below that I have done because I have not always been an organized decluttered person. It's something I really had to learn and I've shared some of my best tips with you guys in some videos. So again, I will put those down below if you want some help to sort of jumpstart your declutter journey. All right, let's just start to jump into some random stuff. But number three is nice toilet paper. I'm sorry, but have you ever been at somebody's house and you went to the bathroom and they had like really nice toilet paper and you were like, dang, this girl has made it. Just me? I know there's somebody else who's been in somebody's house and they had really nice toilet paper and you were like, wow she's got it together. Honestly, it makes a difference and I have truly found that buying the really nice toilet paper actually doesn't even cost that much more because the cheap toilet paper runs out faster, you need to use more of it. It's just like a little silly thing that we all use every single day, but it just feels more luxurious and opulent and you kind of feel like you've made it when you're buying the nice toilet paper. Item number four is having fresh flowers in your house. There's something about a bouquet of fresh flowers in a space that just makes it feel more elegant. You know what I mean? It's like any place that's fancy or nice always has fresh flowers. So I try to buy myself flowers at least once a month. And my little trick is just to keep your eyes open at your local grocery stores. Cause pretty much every grocery store I've ever shopped at will usually have some type of like sale bouquet every single week or every other week. And of course I try to stick to flowers that tend to last longest in vases. So I'm getting the most bang for my buck. Something that's going to last for a week in a vase as opposed to something that's gonna die in a day or two. So I'm getting the most use out of my fresh flowers for the time. All right, number five is having things when you run out of them. There's nothing that can make you feel like you have it more together than when you like run out of something, you're like, oh, I'm out of olive oil. And then you can just go to your cabinet and you're like, oh, don't worry, I have another olive oil. 
already here. And it just makes you feel like there's that feeling of plentiful, like you're not actually running out of something because you have the other thing in stock. So it's like a little bit of a mental game um, where you don't feel like there's scarcity. And a lot of this goes back to number two of just being a little bit more organized in your life because it helps you sort of keep tabs on what you have in your house and what you need in your house. But just in general, creating a system for the things that you use a lot in your house and always having that replacement one. Number six is setting the table for dinner. This is totally gonna make you feel richer because when you set the table for dinner, usually that's something that you only get when you go out to restaurants. But if you're doing it at home, you're sort of recreating that same feeling. Well, dinner can start to feel monotonous. It's just something that we do every single night. If you take a few minutes to make it feel a little bit more special, it gives that feeling of like luxury to it. Okay, number seven is a minimized closet. And this one might seem a little bit backwards because in your mind, you might be saying, wait, Callie, there is nothing that makes people feel more rich than walking into a huge, opulent walk-in closet with like fancy high heel shoes on an entire wall and all these opulent dresses going down the other wall. But I would argue that this actually will not make you feel more rich. Sure, it's a nice idea in like theory. It looks nice in movies or when you see it on TV shows. But the truth is, I think it really would just make you feel more anxious and overwhelmed because you might have a big old closet full of all sorts of fancy clothes, but let me just ask you, do you wear fancy high heels and fancy dresses every single day? Because I definitely don't. I rarely wear them a few times a year, to be honest. So if I have a big closet that I filled up with all of these fancy clothes, but they're not the clothes that I'm wearing every day, I'm just going to open my closet every day and look at a bunch of stuff that I can't wear. And what I think will make you feel a little bit more rich and a little bit more just sort of like put together is to have a closet that when you open it, it's full of clothes that you love to wear, that fit you great, that you look great in, and that you can wear on an everyday occasion. So in my opinion, having a more minimalized closet that matches your lifestyle and is full of clothes that you love to wear and look really great on you is a thousand times more luxurious than having a huge closet full of all sorts of fancy clothes that really aren't comfortable or you don't really wear every day. And if you want some help in the closet department, I've actually done an entire video all about how I minimized my closet, how I decluttered my closet, the steps that I take to create a minimal closet that really fits your lifestyle, and I will link that video down below. Okay, number nine is matching pajama sets. I feel like when you make the step from like wearing oversized t-shirts to sleeping in matching pajama sets, you feel like you've made the next step in life. You've like leveled up a level into adulthood. And I'm gonna go as far as say that you don't even need to be buying like the really fancy, nice pajamas to get the feeling and the like effect of of wearing matching pajama sets. It's just about the fact of doing it. So sure, yes, you could splurge on one really nice pair of pajamas or maybe ask for some as a gift, but some of my favorite matching pajama sets are less than $30 for the set. I will link some of them down below. It's like when your socks match or like when your bra and your underwear match and you just kind of feel like you have it together. It's that same thing. All right, number 10 is to have money in your savings account. Like I said, number one is definitely living debt free, but once you get past that milestone, having money in a savings account is obviously going to make you feel more rich because what's more rich than having abundance of money? You have so much money that you have money in a savings account. I mean, like that is boss. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Not to mention when you start having money in a savings account, it means that you have a safety net and this is going to give you financial security. Financial security is one of the biggest things that can make you feel more rich because you know that if an emergency happens, you don't need to worry about where some of your money is going to come from because you have that emergency fund. And I would argue there are a few things that can make you feel more rich than having financial security. Okay, number 11 is one of my favorites and that is living below your means. And this is another one that might feel a little bit backwards because you might be like, wait, but feeling rich, doesn't that mean like enjoying and spending all of my income? But when you're not living at the top of your income and what I mean when I say that is I mean that like your monthly expenses and what you spend every single month doesn't hit at your income, you end up with something in your budget called wiggle room. And that is a magical thing. So when my husband and I finally got our finances in order, we paid off our debt, we started saving up money. The next big thing that we did is we basically set up our lifestyle so that we could live on one income. This means that everything that we need to spend in one month, we can pay on just one of our incomes. And what that means is that the other income is wiggle room. And what wiggle room allows us to do is it allows us to save up money for an emergency fund. It allows us to put away cash 
to make big purchases, like the kitchen renovation that we want to do. It allows you to put money away for a vacation. It gives you wiggle room in your budget so you don't feel like you are constrained to the lifestyle that you've created. Number 12 is making an effort to shop local or shop from small businesses. 2020 was a crazy year and I definitely made a huge shift to buying from a lot more small businesses and local businesses. And don't get me wrong, I'm not swearing off Target by any means. I still shop at Target, but I made a huge effort to do a lot more shopping from small businesses and I have found that it's actually not really that much more expensive but it feels like more of a luxury because one I feel like lots of times the quality of the goods that you're getting are better Two, the customer service that you get is usually a thousand times better I mean when you get a package from Target the box is like barely taped closed and you're lucky if they remember to include your invoice you get a box from a cute small shop and they send like a handwritten thank you know they put like little candies in there there's like confetti when you open it it just feels like such a lot luxury and this doesn't need to be anything crazy it's just when you think you need to buy something just making the mind shift to like maybe check Etsy or check a local shop first um, to see if you can get it from there okay number 13 is getting something in your house that's going to allow you to make your favorite coffee and or tea drink at home one of the reasons I feel like we love getting coffee out at coffee shops or tea out at tea shops is because they just do little things to make it feel more special that we don't necessarily have at home from just like our regular coffee pots. So think about what it is for you, like what's the difference in the coffee shop drink that you usually order that makes it feel a little more special and then how can you recreate that at home? So maybe it's getting yourself a milk steamer because you like to drink lattes or maybe it's getting a, a fancy flavored syrup because you like the flavored coffee. When you can create a really nice coffee or tea drink at home it's going to feel just like so opulent to be able to do that and have it at home so, okay number 14 is to have a good skincare routine and when I say good skincare routine I don't necessarily mean a super expensive luxury over-the-top skincare routine that costs a lot of money I just mean the process of having a skincare routine that you follow that you're doing every single night because it becomes like this little mini spa thing and it makes you feel good and it makes your skin feel good so personally I'm a huge advocate of the brand good molecules they are a very inexpensive skincare brand but I find that their products work amazing they make my skin feel amazing and best yet most of the products cost like between 8 and 15 dollars so I will link my go-to products from them down below so again it's not about breaking the bank. It's not about constantly trying to buy a more expensive or the new it skincare product. It's just about having a couple of products that you really love and just about having that routine that makes you feel like you're taking care of your skin and makes your skin feel good. The 15th and final thing that is going to make you feel more rich is mindset. Have you ever heard the saying, there's people out there happier with less than you have? Again, this goes back to my original point that rich is not necessarily an end goal because thinking of rich as an end goal is going to put you on that hamster wheel of never getting there. Instead, I think it's about finding rich inside of your income bracket that you're in right now because it's all about making this mind shift from thinking, well, if I were richer, I could do A, B, C, and instead looking at saying, okay, what can I be doing inside of the income bracket that I have right now to achieve my financial goals? It's about trying to get out of that hamster wheel of constantly feeling like you need to go ahead and you need to be doing more and you need to be making more and say, okay, what, but what can I do in the here and now? What things can I I do inside of what I have now to make some of these things happen. All right, my friends, that does it. Those are my 15 things that I think that most people could do to make themselves feel a little bit more rich at whatever income bracket you're at. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're new, I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I share a lot more just like real life stuff. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.